In the following videos we will be dealing with graphs. The first graph to review is a user field graph. They can be found under Windows, Usage and User field graph. Click to activate it. It should appear below Gun chart. This graph displays the assignments of the user field based values over the time. It can be used for showing consumption of the resources of the task duration or utilization of space where utilization values have been defined in a user field. You can specify whether to display all or filter tasks only. To do that, make a right click over the space and check tasks. You see here all tasks selected, all filtered tasks. You can change the graph's title and show or hide the legend. Let's clear all filters first. Okay, we will assume that we would like to see concrete and brick usage over the time. First of all, we should create task user fields and name them as concrete volume and brick volume. Open user fields, make a right click and select add. The first one will be concrete volume. It's category task and type number. Okay. One more is for brick. We are interested to transfer assigned resource volumes to the task user field. Let's show concrete volumes only in Gunshot. Make a right click over the concrete, go to the filters, and select a call cell volume. Let's also display brick volume and concrete volume. Open the 3D user fields and scroll down until volume. Select all visible tasks in a table. Make a Ctrl A and select only visible tasks. Now make right click over the volume and select copy values to associated objects. On the left hand side we will be having 3D user field volume and on the right hand side we will choose task user field concrete volume. We will process only selected tasks and we would like to have the sum of volumes for each task and click copy and OK. In case if Synchro couldn't calculate volume, we can manually select the objects and check if volume is provided. For example, stairs. Select the activity, make a right click and isolate selected. Now open the 3D objects and see that we have a stair. Let's check its uh, properties in user fields. As you can see, we don't have volume here. So let us select both staircases. Open the measurements and click to compute. Now we can copy the volume with the Ctrl C and paste it in the cell. Now we can do the same for structural columns. And the same for bricks. In order to display values on the graph, click box beside parameter name. For example, concrete volume. Select the value and let's overwrite its color to gray. Well, now we can copy all visible tasks to Excel and draw a cumulative concrete usage. Let's again filter by concrete value. I select only visible tasks and copy them as text. If you'd like to add actual quantities to your chart, create another task user fields and name them as actual concrete quantity and brick actual quantity. And let's change its color to red. So 
place them next to the concrete volume and brick volume. And let's enter values. In order to display actual values, check the box next to the user field. Let's do the same for bricks. Let's activate brick volume and actual bring quantity. Notice that the bar chart is updating as we enter values. You can also draw cumulative line over the graph here in Synchron. For that, just activate draw cumulative in user field graph for both concrete volume and actual concrete. To see the difference between plant and actual. Let's rename our title concrete usage graph. 